this is what it's all about. Sailing at its finest on the X40, X40. Evening light in Barcelona. Nice long code sail, reach home. Sitting at around eight knots, eight and a half. Very easy passage making speeds. Comfortable and fun. Absolutely beautiful sailing condition. Mid October, t shirt and shorts, code zero out. Dreamy stuff. Nice little sail locker. Keep the code in there. Not particularly long but deep. Anchor locker, bow sprit. Standard sort of setup for a performance cruiser today. This one with flexi teak decks. Moving aft, yeah, the shape synonymous with X now with their pure cruising line. Nice chunky coach roof, tow rail with a scupper, inboard tracks on the coach roof. You notice the track, which is nice, it's actually designed in with the boat, it's not just a flat rail. And this one has a performance rig, so a carbon axe and mast, which is the tracks for the overlapping Genoa as well which means you get uh, these extra combing winches so standard boat will just come with the German main sheet winches uh, and you'd use the coach roof winches for spinnaker handling as well it's an X yacht so obviously you still get a traveler as standard and really nice to have uh, a slot here where you can straddle the wheel as a helmsman or mainsail trimmer can sit here and notes how the German main sheet system, the winches themselves are neatly mounted within the combings there. Very nice detail. A cruising yacht, so removable cockpit table, but still a proper cockpit table. And then a big locker accessed from the cockpit as well. So that one has currently got the code zero in it. Uh, you see the fuel tank there as well. And further stowage in those lockers for fenders, etc. are the panels that lift up for helmsman bracing. And then moving down into the interior, the thing that really impresses me is the overall use of space. You don't feel like any areas particularly, you're cheated in any particular area, you get all of the things I guess a yachtsman would wanna see for a two cabin layout. So this is the standard two cabin layout, the first 10 boats built like this, there, it is offered as a three cabin. So double cabin aft, good size double, which goes under the cockpit there. Still got a hull window, cockpit hatch and sort of half wardrobe and shelving in there. And then you get this big heads links into that locker from the, from the cockpit locker there. Large heads and separate shower area. You still get a proper chart table. You still get a proper size galley and the stowage with it. Sleepable length saloon berths. Water tank under that side, stowage under this side, good size. Saloon table, folds over, sit around here. Crack the drinks out, crack the food out. Nice oak finish, this is standard boat as you see it and is only offered in this trim, but nice and light, plenty of natural light coming through. And then the owner's cabin forward. I guess you could call it owner's cabin. Proper island berth. And good wardrobe stowage. And raised lockers each side surrounding it. Really nice 
proper size, proper 40 foot performance cruiser that you would be very happy spending a couple of weeks aboard.